after someone's relationship has come to an end, they could experience a number of different feelings. So, they could have moments when they feel angry, and moments when they feel sad. At other moments, they could feel very little, with them being in an emotionally shut down state. And, although this will be a time when they feel flat, it will give them a break from the intense feelings that they usually experience. Ultimately, this will be a way for their brain to stop them from being overwhelmed, and thereby make it easier for them to keep it together and function. The downside, of course, is that it will be as if they are watching life from the outside. However, providing that they face how they feel, and don't run away from what is going on for them, they should spend less time in a disconnected state, and more time being in touch with how they feel. This will then allow them to be on the inside more, and to make it easier for them to embrace life. Along with what is going on for them, they can spend a lot of time thinking about their ex. This could be something that they spend more time doing when they are connected to how they feel. Naturally, by being connected to how they feel, their mind will start to think about their ex, as no longer being with them will have played a big part in why they feel the way that they do. If, on the other hand, they were still with them, they are likely to experience different feelings. When they think about their ex, they could primarily think about the good moments that they shared. If so, this can also be a way for them to keep their real feelings at bay, as the good feelings that they experience through remembering these moments will allow them to avoid how they feel. If they were to also think about the moments that were not so good, this could be a time when they will feel angry and resentful. These feelings can allow them to feel strong and powerful, and avoid feeling hopeless and helpless, for instance. Still, what this will illustrate is that they are able to see that their relationship had both good and bad moments, and perhaps many moments that were simply neutral. Furthermore, they may see that their ex had traits that they liked more than others. If so, they won't see their ex as being a god or a goddess, but they also won't see them as being worthless and unlovable. They will merely be a human being who was doing the best that they could with what they knew. Likewise, they could also see that they themselves behaved in ways that were healthy and ways that were not. They will then know that they are not perfect, but at the same time, they are also not worthless and unlovable, and will be aware of what they need to do to have a more harmonious relationship. What this will illustrate is that they have a good level of self-awareness and self-love. The former will allow them to see what they need to work on, and the latter will allow them to acknowledge and work on their weaknesses, without them feeling like a failure and beating themselves up. Then again, now that their relationship has come to an end, they could believe that their ex is a bad person, and is essentially less than human. Subsequently, they could spend a lot of time thinking about all the bad traits that they had, and the ways that they undermine them. Not only this, they could spend a lot of time telling their friends, and perhaps their family, how bad this person was. Based on how they behave then, it will be as if they are the good one, and their ex is the bad one. Perhaps their ex was a somewhat or a very toxic person, but at the same time they could be making their ex out to be someone that they are not, if their ex is nothing like how they are making them out to be. It is likely to show that this is a way for them to avoid how they feel.
if they were to see their ex in a more balanced way, it might cause them to come into contact with painful feelings. As a result, they could end up feeling worthless and unlovable and very low. By unconsciously projecting their painful feelings into their ex, it will allow them to keep their painful feelings at bay and to feel better about themselves. If they were aware of what was taking place, this defence mechanism wouldn't work. As they are unable to handle these painful feelings, it is likely to show that they don't have a felt sense of worth or lovability. Therefore, they won't just happen to lack self-awareness. This will be something that they have unconsciously chosen not to develop in order to stop themselves from becoming aware of the parts of themselves that are painful and threaten their sense of self. For them to have a more balanced view of themselves and their ex, it will be imperative for them to face how they feel. The feelings that they are doing their best to avoid could largely be a consequence of what took place during their formative years. Throughout this stage of their life, they may have been treated as though they were worthless and unlovable. As they were egocentric, they would have personalised what took place and perhaps created a disconnected and inflated false self. So with this in mind, if you have recently gone through a breakup and due to the pain that you are in, it has made it hard for you to see your ex clearly and to see yourself clearly, then this could show the pain from your early years that has not been processed and integrated has made it hard for you to be balanced. And so as you work through this pain, it will make it easier for you to have a more balanced view of your ex and yourself. And when it comes to working through this pain, you may need to reach out for external support. But the main thing is that you do what you need to do and don't suffer in silence. If you would like to find out more about the services that I offer, please go to www.oliverjrcooper.co.uk or email me at info at oliverjrcooper.co.uk and I am looking forward to assisting you on your journey.